I remember a customer asking me about SolarWinds Orion. They were using SolarWinds Orion and they wanted to see what it had stolen from their network. And of course, the federal government has no idea. I mean, for those who don't know, SolarWinds Orion was a vulnerability in 2019 going into 2020 and used by a lot of federal agencies in the US. And Russian hackers, state-sponsored hackers, broke into SolarWinds source code, implemented malicious code that did nothing for three weeks, somehow got through their code reviews, SolarWinds pushed the update out, and three weeks later, it reached out to an AWS server and got instructions on bad things to do. So I remember going through the unified audit so we could see exactly what Orion had done for a customer, and we saw one line and that was deny access to an IP address that wasn't flagged as malicious, but was a good server in AWS. Wasn't explicitly allowed. And wasn't explicitly allowed. Just by taking an application's internet access away, except to the sites it needed, we stopped probably one of the most significant vulnerabilities in history from being exploited. And since then, we've seen Felina, we've seen... Dozens of examples. 